Physio Biz. Joining me right now is Mark Freeburn, CEO of AAM. Tell me about your company and what role are you playing in India? Our company is a, a full service geo solutions company. We work all the way from providing software and web based mapping applications to doing basic surveying and um, sophisticated surveying techniques such as airborne LIDAR and airborne mapping techniques. Mark, you, have, you must have heard about the initiative that this new government in India, they have announced 100 smart cities, they are also big time into digital India campaign. So what kind of market does your company see over here in India? Sure, like most other people in the mapping world, we think the smart city campaign here is probably the most exciting thing in the world today. It actually brings together the best of what Geospatial can provide. We can provide web-based services, we can provide mapping services to all the people who need to integrate things together for smart cities. Be that from transport groups, from power groups, from planning groups, um, for everything that will make the citizenship much more uh, at home in their own cities. So bringing mapping to those people and bringing mapping to the city basis, uh, that will be an important part of building smarter cities. Do you see the map policy of India as a hindrance in the growth of GIS in this uh, country? The map policy in, in India has been evolving for quite some time and it's evolving both with the technology and with need. At the moment the map policy is, is, is evolving to the point where we're starting to see a lot more private sector being involved in creating map bases and the private sector is actively uh, working at the moment with the government sector in building a true map base for India to work from. What, what kind of hindrances that you see, that you face in Indian market, uh, uh, be it from policy initiative or built from policy framework that the government has, what kind of hindrances that you see, what kind of challenges that you see over here? Well, um, like all parts of the world, and there's, there's, we, we could say that unique things happen in India, but it's not always the case. Uh, governments have their way of doing things, they set procedures and policies and they're very careful about how they work. Um, and there are very good reasons to why they need to be careful. A lot of those mapping information, a lot of the data that we produce is used by a lot of different organisations and a lot of very important decisions are based on those. So the policy making here is as much a part of the, the process that we go through as it is everywhere else. I guess to some degree there is slight, slight delay between the idea of funding a program here and actually getting it to market. Um, but that's probably as much as because of the size of the programs that are actually being done, which are quite large. Um, and also the ambition of the programs. Things like smart cities are very ambitious programs. Since your company has been very actively involved in the Indian market these days, do you see things change at the ground level in India? Yes, I do see things change at the ground level. Um, conversations that are go around here, for example, are not so much based around government databases. They are about how do we actually make data available for different organisations, for different parts of government to use, and how can government work with each other and work with the private sector to make things happen. So at the very base level, yes, I do see changing. So do you see that time has come when India needs to open its arms and embrace geospatial technology completely and make changes in data policy? Uh, I don't know whether I would say it needs to embrace things completely. It needs to embrace the practical things that it can actually do. Um, open data is, is a conversation that goes on in the geospatial world, not just in India, right around the world. And the conversation always is about, so we have open data, so who pays for it? And at some stage, somebody has to pay the bill. So with the government paying the bill, they have the right to decide how that data actually gets used. And to some degree, we entrust the governments to make sense of how they, um, important information will be distributed. Open data is certainly a, um, a pressure around the world that's building at the moment, and India will be swept up partly in that pressure, but it will maintain its own independence and make its own decisions. What is the vision of your company as far as Indian market is concerned? Like everybody else, we want to be the best there is. We want to be able to help India to produce the best data that it can. We believe we can bring the other parts of the world in which we operate at the moment, the things that we do in 3D mapping techniques, for example, web distribution, cloud-based delivery of mapping techniques, can be brought into India. And that will make mapping available to a lot more people in a lot more places a lot more often. Mark, thanks a lot for speaking to us. Thanks. Thank you very much.